Hello everybody, my name is Kaylee Wesley and welcome to my channel. Alright, so I've already been to class today, that's why my makeup is mostly done anyways. I just didn't put on eyeshadow. And I'm about to go back to school for tutoring because I need it, so there's that. But I'm going to put this on. I prime my eyes with the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer Potion Anti-Aging. I tap it out with my finger. I just washed my hands. I'm going to start putting this top right shade into the crease and I will be building that color up just a little bit. What I like I like the ColourPop shadows better, but in the same breath, I also like that I am able to build these shades up rather than it just, you know, just on your face kind of thing. So it gives me the opportunity to either darken it or lighten it, which I like. So all I'm doing with this is literally patting the shadow in and kind of blending it. <laughs> she wants attention. I just got home from the school so she hasn't gotten her attention yet. You can see I have to scratch her butt. The next color, I'm just going to wipe this up on a paper towel. Oh my baby. <laughs> I'm going to spray my brush and go in with this middle shade. I'm going to take that all over the lid. So the reason I sprayed my brush is to get it more pigmented when I set down that color. Like it is. Yes, I love it. It's like... Alright, with this shade you do get a little bit of fallout. I don't know if you can see it, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm so close. Alright, but it is easily removable with the spoolie. <clears throat> if you try it with a brush, all it's going to do is blend out that shadow on top of your cheeks and you don't want that. So wiping off that brush again, I'm going to be dipping into this top left shade and I'm going to be putting this on the outer corner just to deepen up that sparkly shade I just put down and to be honest with you guys I need to go back into my crease because I'm seeing a little bit of patchiness along it and go back different brush I'm gonna go back in Make sure that crease looks good as gold, basically. I'm going to go back into that second brush that I just used for my crease with this shade. Alright, now I'm bringing that along my lower lash line. Actually, I'm going to go back into the shade that we used to darken up the outer corner to actually darken up the outer corner of the lower lash line as well, just to bring the focus more out so my eyes look bigger to whoever looks at me. And I look at myself so my eyes just look bigger. <laughs> I'm going to do some minimal building up right now. Just getting rid of some patchiness and blending it all together. So I had inner corner highlight from earlier when I first went to school and I used something that is in my project pan, the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Champagne Pop. I love it. I've had this sample maybe about, I want to say three, four months and I've already hit pan on it. 
you're just gonna have to see my a project pan if you want more info I'll leave that link down below for you so since I already have highlight I'm just going to build it up a little bit more just a little bit now with these Huda Beauty shadows I normally do cool tone looks or cool tone highlight but since I already did it there's no going back and I actually do enjoy maybe a cool toned eye with a warm toned face is that bad and I'm done what do you guys think Okay, so now looking at this palette, I want to play with these two shades right here. I don't know how we're going to do it, but let's do this. Okay, so obviously I always start priming my eyes with my Urban Decay Primer Potion Anti-Aging. I feel like I say that every day. Which, technically since I'm filming videos every day, I do. So, it's quite annoying, but it's necessary. If you're wondering why I have my headphones in, I'm listening to Samantha March. <laughs> Love her. Okay, so all I do is tap that out with my finger. The color I'm going in is with the deepest shade first on this little Essence Smoky Eye Brush. Guys, do you even care? I see my brushes out loud. Do you? So I am tapping that in into the crease, but not taking it up too high. Or trying not to, anyways. So what I'm trying to do right now is just get them even on both eyes, or trying my best to anyways. Okay, so I've been taking this bottom left shade, the lightest matte in the palette, and I have been just softly blending out that darkest shade. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to be taking a flat brush from Alamore Cosmetics and spraying it down and I'm dipping into the and now I'm dipping into the middle shade now I'm going to be putting that all over my lid it looks like more of a topper so I'm kind of regretting what I just did okay yeah I don't like that at all so lesson learned but let's go instead wipe this off a little bit. Now let's go into this bottom right shade and put that on. This is more of a pinkish purple tone. It's super pretty. You can see the little shift it gives there? Super pretty. And then now the other eye. I'm wiping that off now and I'm going back into that middle shall I say topper shade and I'm putting that on top of that bottom right color just to give it a little more oomph if you can tell yeah see it gives it a little more of a blue shift bluish purple I really like this color too well I really like these two together I didn't even know Right, the other eye. Okay, because I don't want it to be just this, I'm actually topping it off again, but with this bottom shade right here. Bottom middle shade. I like those three together. Really, I really like those three together. If you have this palette, mix the three together. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put on the brush to my face and I will be right back. Alright, so since the top is so dramatic, I'm going to make the bottom really simple. And I'm going to go 
since I went with the dark shade and lightest shade, I'm now going to use the medium shade. I'll be using the same brush again, going into the darker shade. I'm putting that along the corners of my eyes, maybe the outer one third. So I have not gone in with an inner corner highlight yet, but I did want to bring out my Urban Decay Kristen Leanne with this middle shade. I'm actually just going to take it on an angled brush, put that in my inner corner. This color goes so well with it too, which makes me so excited. All right, let me know what you think. Alright guys, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed today's video and will consider subscribing. I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!